Hey everyone, it's Elsa again. Thank you so much for being patient and waiting for this next episode to come out. I've been having a lot of issues with respect to my mic, my life, everything but enough of that. Let's get into roleplay. So, we have just rung the first bell of awakening. We defeated the stone gargoyles, these two on the other side, and we are staring at that giant structure over there. And now we are going to go and look for the second bell of awakening. Greetings. I am Oswald of Kareem, the Park. Allow us Hello. For me, a warm welcome. Thank Come you. Come about to confess what you choose. For indeed, your sin is my domain. This is Oswald of Kareem. And. He is a partner. He sells the Book of the Guilty and indictment. Indictment. Slip sold by Bishop of Velka, Goddess of Sin. Velka. This is the first mention of Velka in the game. Velka is a very interesting character that I don't think we actually get to meet. Uh, Whatever we can learn about her is through various items in the game, and we'll get to her a bit later. If you are killed by an invader, use this to report the crime of the trespasser. The indicted player will be added to a list of unfortunate souls who will one day face the wrath of the Blades of the Dark Moon. This is our introduction into the Dark Moon Covenant. Book of the Guilty. Online play item, checklist of indicted players. The goddess of sin, Velka, oversees this list of the guilty who have disrespected the gods or their covenants and shall one day face the wrath of the blades of the dark moon. Karma justice. This is a miracle. Uh, we won't be getting into that just now. This is Velka's talisman. And Blood bite ring, poison bite ring, and ring of sacrifice. Apparently, we have sinned and we can get absolution for 8500 souls. This amount entirely depends on our soul level, but we're not gonna go ahead and do that. You're not welcome anytime. It is only human to commit. Now we are going to head back. Using a shortcut we opened up earlier. And go back into Filing Shrine. Surprise! I didn't expect you to make it. Oh, well, I did. Wait, was it you? You never give up, do you? No. I don't know how you do it. Well, don't stop now. Only one more. But it's going to be suicide. <laughs> we shall see.
We could level up at this point. Let's go for E921. We have rung the first spell of awakening in the lit church. Now we are going to go down and sing the second bell of awakening. Sunlight medal. To you for freeing me. <laughs> You're not welcome. enough for you. Well, let's not be greedy now. <laughs> You're literally covered in an armor made of gold. I don't think you get to talk about who's being greedy <laughs> and who's not. You again. What is it? Our futures are murky. Let's not be too friendly now. Hm. Ah. Since you don't want to be friendly, how about... Goodbye! The reason why I chose to drop him is because he has a ring. A ring that is extremely powerful if you get it early on. Humanity. Ring of favor and protection. This is what I was after. Ring of favor and protection, a ring symbolizing the favor and protection of the goddess Fina. Known in the legend to possess faithful beauty, this ring boosts its wearer's HP, stamina, and max equipment load, but it breaks if ever removed. Now, onwards to the second bell of awakening. If possible, I'm gonna reinforce my extra flasks. Of an English soldier. New London ruins. This area is quite deep and it's kind of hard, le uh, high level for us to be here right now. So we're gonna come back here later, but we can talk hmm? to this guy. Well, this is unusual. You haven't lost your head. No, I haven't. No, you're free. How on earth? Yes. Well, I shouldn't pry. Mm -hmm. I'm Rickett of Vinheim. I was once an established smith, but look at me now. Can you believe it? He is hmm? inside. What is it? Have you? Oh no. Don't worry. I've no intention of escape. It's safe. Why not? I can't bear the thought of going hollow out there. Okay. Although, I must admit. Not much to occupy myself. How about this? 
I can mm -hmm. forge your weapons for you, albeit with rather minimal tools. I'll show you what made me the best in the world. That sounds quite intriguing. What do you have to sell? Sorceries and magic. It seems like Vinheim must have been a magical place. What is it? There's nothing to talk about. We're both cursed, but undead. But what's there really to moan about? Hmm? There's nothing. We're both. He Goodbye. has accepted his fate as an undead. Valley of Drakes. Large soul of nameless soldier. This is the back entrance to Blight Town. And actually there are two options for us. Well there are many options for us, but we can either go down here and ring the second bell of awakening or we can proceed in the undead burg further and get started on our pyromancies first. I'm kind of split between the two, so for now, this is going to be a short episode. Thank you very much for joining me. Most probably I'll go through Blight Down later, but we'll see that in the next episode. Goodbye.